Happy 2021, everybody. I wanted to share my 10 goals for this year, so let's get started. Wait one second, goal number one. So my first goal was to make a YouTube video, somewhere where I can film and somewhere where I can edit. It's a dedicated space to being creative. So I'll make a video on how to make a background like this. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, anybody at any skill level can do it. It uh, takes less than uh, a day, maybe a weekend, if, if you're a little more challenged on uh, building projects. Um, the cost is very inexpensive to get something like I have behind me. It's, it's basically a few pieces of PVC, a piece of paneling, and a light, maybe a sign, whatever else you want to add to your background. For 2021, my goal is to do 24 videos, 24, at least 24 videos. That's two a month. I, I believe that's something I can completely do. I, I put a, two videos out. I, I really, I took out my phone. I filmed my truck. I, I didn't do anything. I didn't follow up on it. I know people have left comments and questions about when are you going to do part two? Well, that was almost two years ago and I didn't do anything. This year I'm going to change. This year I'm planning on doing at least two videos a month, probably going to be more. I really wanted to create some content and having a creative space I think will really help me get, get to that goal. The other thing is, is that I want to um, create monthly, monthly goal videos. Basically, the goals that I'm, I'm trying to create now, I'll follow up on those goals and uh, create videos that kind of check off the things that I did or I didn't do. Um, so as I go through the goals for this year, those will be the goals that I follow up on the, the following month. I'll make a video about that. Part of creating the videos for this year is I've, I've decided that I'm going to do 12 adventures. 12 adventures meaning that uh, take a vacation day here, a vacation day there, and go camping, do something creative. Um, at this point, I, I have in mind some bike packing trips, um, backpacking trips. I've already got my um, backcountry permit for Yosemite for a trip in May, so that's something that'll be coming up. I'm uh, really working on um, a bike packing trip, just a local bike packing trip, maybe ride out 50 miles and uh, spend the night, test out the new gear that I had bought. Um, but unfortunately, some of the campsites are closed at the moment, so I'm still trying to figure out where I can actually do this. But it's kind of my adventure for um, January. Hopefully, I can uh, make that happen. Another goal that I have for the year is um, I want to cycle. 2,500 miles this year. Last year I came up a little bit short, about 1,900 miles. I didn't do any training, you know, a couple of long rides. Um, most of that mileage was uh, commuter mileage. I commute basically nine miles, so it's pretty easy to get close to 2,000. And once I add in some training, I can actually get, probably get well over 2,500 miles, closer to 3,000 miles. Another fitness goal is 1,000 miles, whether it's hiking, walking, running. Um, I really want to start getting back into running and uh, part of that is hiking. I need to get myself into shape. Um, so I, I really wanna dial in some of the running, walking. The walking, it won't be too hard as a, as a combination. It, won't, it shouldn't be too hard to reach this goal because uh, we do family walks of about two to four miles a night just depends. So that's pretty easy to add on the mileage. But within that, I want to get more fitness miles. It's maybe hiking, uh, gaining elevation, doing more running. So that's part of, uh, part of my fitness goals for the year. A goal that I've had for the last three years is to complete Death Ride. Death Ride is a... Um, it's a five pass ride in the Tahoe area and it's 129 miles, um, 15,000 feet of climbing. The first year that I attempted to do it, I um, got on my bike, I did some riding, maybe rode, I think maybe 1500 miles and I thought, okay, I'm ready for this. And I went out there and I was completely not ready. I did, um, 70 miles and 8,500 feet. So it wasn't, it wasn't a complete failure. That's actually a pretty good, 
pretty good ride for somebody who didn't really do a lot of training. Um, part of it is an injury. I, I don't like to make excuses, but I, I felt it was better to just stop at that point. Um, and then in 2019, I had um, reached 76 miles and 95 feet, 9,500 feet of climbing. And um, I trained a little bit more, not enough to complete it. Um, I actually did three passes that year. And when I got to the top of the third pass, you, you basically, you're going to go back down and then you have to get yourself back out. And when I, when I reached the top of that third pass, I just decided that uh, it's probably best just to call it a day. Um, I knew I hadn't trained enough to actually complete the whole thing. So I decided that uh, I would call it a day and, and come back the next year and be completely ready. Now that I've done it twice, I knew what it was going to take to train to get through it. Um, unfortunately, last year in 2019, 2020, the event was canceled. That's okay. Um, I'm pre-signed up for 2021. I know what it's going to take and I'm going to go out and complete it. I'll, I'll do some filming of that so I can give you guys uh, a view. It's an absolutely beautiful view. The ride is beautiful. It's, um, it's, uh, the roads are closed so you get a nice view. You can take your time doing it. You can do filming and it's, it's just a beautiful ride. So I'll put that together. Another goal that I have is, um, weight loss. It's, and when I, when I talk about weight loss, it's not, I don't actually have an, a number that I'm looking to reach. I'm, I'm looking for a, a comfort level where I feel the most comfortable in, in my skin. Um, I don't know what that number is. Last year I decided that, uh, I was going to take this on and I started at about 213 pounds and I ended at 197. Um, the method that I was using was basically calories in calories out part of, um, Dialing in this year's weight loss would be um, dialing in the nutrition, the nutrition and adding some weight training also. Because as you get older, you, you really need to work on weight training to keep your body in shape. Um, so for, for this year, what I'm trying to do is um, lose about two to three pounds a month. So the, by the time death ride comes around, I should be in the range of about 175, 180, just all depends. It'll make it a lot easier to climb uh, 15,000 feet. So um, as long as I stay on with those goals, I should be able to come in at the right weight to start climbing, to help me complete death ride. One of the problems I have in life that I, I need to um, really make it a goal is to start and finish all projects. I, I, I start a project in, around the house and as soon as I get to about 90%, I, I immediately jump on another project. So I have like five projects around the house that all need to be complete. So for 2021, I've decided that I'm only going to concentrate on one project at a time. And when that project is complete, I can move on to the next one. For instance, when I did this background, I, I stopped everything I was doing and said, I'm, I'm gonna finish this. So, so far so good. This is complete. It's not finish. Finish. There's other things that I would add that I will add to it later on because there's other stuff that I'm going to do. But as far as filming, I have no excuse now. The background's up. I'm ready to start filming. In fact, I had a friend uh, who came over and he says, "Hey, I'm the the king of the the 90%." I, I just chuckled. My wife chuckled, and we realized, kind of looked at me and said, "Yeah, I'm pretty much the king of 90%." Well, this year it's going to be a 100%. Every project that started is going to be finished, and I'll film some of the stuff that I have to finish up and kind of give you an idea of what I was doing and what needs to be done. Another big thing is. Um, over the last few years, you've been hearing a lot of people talk about minimalism. I don't want to consider myself a minimalist. Actually, um, my wife and I were, were pretty much pack rats, but one of the things that I'm going to concentrate on is minimalizing, where there's not so much stuff. I already started going through my closets and my drawers and um, just started pulling out clothes and realizing that I have clothes that I haven't worn for years, donated those to Goodwill, so I'm going to 
keep going through and keep clearing stuff out just to, I want everything to be intentional, declutter. And I think it makes it a lot easier in life when you can find your tools, you can find your clothes, you can find your workout gear. These are all things that I think hold people back. It holds me back personally and it's something that I want to eliminate from my life. So in 2021, I'm going to completely clean everything up. Um, another thing I think is kind of important right now for the whole planet, I think that uh, this year I'm not, I'm not getting involved in any politics. I'm not discussing politics. I, I, I don't care what any, any side anybody's on anymore. Um, I've just decided that uh, it's something that I need to eliminate from my life so that I can let more positive things in. I think that if you talk to somebody who, who has one value and another person who has another value and you're a person that's kind of in the middle, you hear both of these sides and, and it's, it's, it's really negative. It's, it's negative from this side, it's negative from that side, and I've just decided that I'm just, in 2021, politics are over for me. I, I've got too many good things going on in my life, too many things that I want to accomplish, and I think that when you get caught up in new cycles that it, it really brings you down and um, I just think that if a lot of people started to put that stuff to the side that we could all start to really move forward. I just, there's just too much negativity when it comes to politics, the media, and this year, this is the first and last time you'll hear it from me. I will not discuss politics. I will not get involved. I honestly just don't care anymore. I only care about what I'm doing in a microcosm and that's what I want to concentrate on. All the things that are on my goal list are what are important to me and what the politics and media are doing as a macro is just of no interest to me anymore. So I'm, that's it. I'm done. And my final goal for the year is to stay positive. As, as I mentioned politics, that's out of my life. All the things on my list, these are all the things that are going to make me happy as I go through the year and start to complete these things, create the videos, do my adventures, do my uh, fitness, weight loss. These are all things that are going to be super positive for me. Um, and I just, I feel like, uh, I hear a lot of people say 2020 was a horrible year. I, I don't, I personally don't think it was a horrible year for me. I think it was a year of awakening and realizing that there are so many things that I want to accomplish in life and that I'm, I'm going to go ahead and start to accomplish those. I'm, I'm going to start moving forward, never going to look in the rear view, many, rear view mirror anymore. I'm just going to keep moving forward and doing the things that make me happy. So those are my 10 goals for the year. I'm going to make a video every month about the goals to tell you how much I made, how how many of those goals I accomplished, if I stayed on track, kind of go over um, the weight loss goals. I, I think there's a lot of things that I can help people with. I'm going to make a video about how to make a background like I have, talk a little bit about uh, uh, biking, backpacking, camping, all sorts of good stuff. So if that's the kind of stuff that you're interested, go ahead and make sure you like and subscribe and uh, just get ready for some videos. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. What's up, everybody? These are my goals for 2021. Hey, everybody. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Let's turn on my channel up. Oh, man. And part of creating that. So for 2020. Wow, really f***ing up, huh?